Oh, I'm Angela. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> hey, I'm Guy Branham, and this is Bar Talk at JFL. Who are the legends? If you were to make a Mount Rushmore of comedy, uh, what faces would you put on there? Okay, so George Lopez was the first comedy album that I owned. Uh -huh. I didn't get hip to like stand-up comedy until like later in the game. In my early 20s is when I really started getting uh -huh. into stand-up comedy. So George Lopez was the first album that I had. Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Brian Regan, and Mitch Hedberg were comedians that I would listen to. And before I even knew I wanted to be a comedian, I would listen to them and they would bring me joy. So those are ones that I would. As a woman of color, did you ever have a feeling of like not knowing if there was a space on that stage for you? Like, because the people you're talking about, great comics, yeah. but they're not people who look like you, you know? Right. Other than George, like, but he's a dude, of course. Yeah. You know what? I feel like I never looked at it as, is there a space for me? It was more like, hey, I'll try this and see if it works. And it's kind of like how I've done my entire career from when I was a cheerleader for the Raiders. Yeah. I had never like been technically trained as a dancer, but it was like, I'll try it, see what happens. And then I moved to Hollywood because I wanted to be an actress and I would like audition for like dance music videos and I'm like, I'll try it, see what happens. And that's kind of like how I've done my life. So even with stand-up, it was kind of like a fluke how I even started stand-up. It was like somebody asked me if I want, they saw me in an acting class and saw that I was funny. Uh -huh. And this was at a church of all <laughs> places. And this woman was like, hey, I'm teaching a joke writing class. Would you like to come and take my class? Uh -huh. And I was like, is it free? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, I guess. Oh, that's awesome. I had no desire to be a comedian. It was just a free class. It was a free opportunity. That's so I was crazy. Like, sure, I'll try it. And then this happened. A couple happened. of years later, you were new faces. Exactly. We have some words here. All right. We have some unusual words. We wanted you to speculate what the meaning of the word is. The word is petrichor. 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 Angela Johnson, what does the word petrichor... First of all, is this English or...? I, I assume so. I believe it's English. I've never seen those letters in that order in my life. It's true. I've been speaking English for a lot of my life. <laughs> I like using weird words. Never really encountered this one. Pet petrichor. I feel like that means, like, I am scared to my core. I'm petrichor. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I assume that it is some sort of multinational corporation that fracks a lot in Ohio. Mm, uh -huh. uh, they get oil that's out of things. That's probably better. All right, let's see. The answer is the, the pleasant smell that accompanies the first rain after a dry spell. That was made so up. So we were both That's right. not real. <laughs> All right, what about, uh, what about nebbish? What's a nebbish? Nebbish, oh, that guy, I just walked past. Oh, <laughs> such a neb. Yes, this is from Yiddish. Um, it literally means a man who is feeble and scared of stuff. And is this Oh, room... I made that up. <laughs> No, this room is full of the entertainment industry, so, so there are nebbish. We're all nebbishes. We're here. all nebbishes here. All right, final, final, final word, final word. Skewomorph. What is a skewomorph? A skewomorph. A guy from Germany, um, who likes to um, ring up items at the grocery store. Um, actually, no, Skewomorph is the series that Angela and I will be pitching yeah. to Netflix yes. in the next room in just a couple of moments yeah. about a race of sexy teenage aliens um, who can turn into various household objects. Yeah. Um, and we will and be. And there's a really go to gay guy on there who's amazing because you have to have yes. one. Yes. Yes. And, and one woman of color because we can only have one. Once there's more than one woman of color. <laughs> Forget it. It's like messing up the whole algorithm or something. So only one at a time. But we are going to compete to be the evil like bitch who attacks them. Yeah. Um, like from episode to episode, who's yeah. evil will change between us. No, yeah. skewomorph is, I have to read the real definition, something designed to look as though it does the job it is supposed to do. No, Ooh. our series is much better. I'm kind of skewomorphed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Guy Branham. Thanks for joining me for Bar Talk at JFL. I will continue to drunkenly accost people and talk to them at the bar, but the camera crew has to go home. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>